Hi, my name is Muzi, and on this video we are, we are talking about how to turn your idea into reality quickly, right? So I, I'm going to be talking about three points just to help try and help you out whatever idea that you have. It could be a career idea, business idea, fitness idea, anything. Basically, how do you go from whatever that is in your head into actually making it a reality? Okay, number one, benchmark, right? So whatever idea that you have in your head, Find someone who's already done it. Find someone or an organization or whatever that has done whatever it is that you are thinking about. It doesn't matter how unique you think your idea is, but I can promise you right now, someone somewhere has done something similar to whatever it is that you are doing. So do your research, uh, hit Google, hit YouTube, hit whatever, speak to the people that you know who are well informed, just to find out who has done something similar and try to benchmark yourself from that person or that organization and try and try to basically just uh, learn from them and look, try and see what you can use that they did to make themselves successful in that particular era and making that product or service available or into making that the idea that they had and turn it into success, right? So that's benchmarking. Find someone who's done it, learn from them and implement. Number two, learn from both successes and failure. Now, mostly in life, we are taught that, no, we should find people who are really successful in what they were doing and then, and then looking up to them and that's it. But I've learned that you actually need to look at both, right? You look at what people did to become successful in what they did and also look at what people, or like what people or companies did to implement that particular idea and it didn't pan out. So you're looking at both. So you, you want to know what the successful guys did to become successful. And you want to avoid what the people who failed did. So, but then for you to avoid it, you're going to have to learn and actually see, okay, this person did one, two, three, and it didn't work out. So I'm going to stay away from that and focus on doing one, two, three that this person did and it actually did work out, right? Number three is going to be the most important one. The aim is to turn what's in your head into reality, right? Short deadlines. So here we are talking time. You will be surprised at how much you can get done in a single day. Actually, even in a single hour. You can actually do all of these three things here in one hour. Because you can research online, you can call your friends, you can uh, ask family members or extended family members to find out who has tried to do what you wanted to do and how, how did they do it. You can also learn from successes and failures. Same thing, a lot of our history now has been documented. So now if you want to start an online company, a lot of people have done it and there's information out there on the net, on the books, on the courses, on how people, on how people get successful in doing whatever it is that you want to do. So you can right now hit your computer or even your, even your smartphone, just research on the phone, find out uh, how can you do what, what you want to do and who else has done it and all of that. And also, in terms of deadlines, uh, most of the time we try to give ourselves way too much, too much time to do things. Uh, try your best to get into the habit of making short deadlines. That will help you. That is going to help you get what is called a sense of urgency. Because without a deadline, it, your idea stays an idea. So you might as well have a short deadline. Start your idea. And, and then fix it as you go along. Even these videos, that, even this video that I'm doing right now, it started as an idea, right? So if I, if I had given myself a long time to say, okay, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do YouTube videos and then give myself three months or four or, four or a year or whatever to do YouTube videos, it might have never, never happened. But because I gave myself a short deadline, I had to figure out, I had to benchmark ways and see, okay, what is the quickest way a person could make YouTube videos. So I did my research on the people who already have YouTube channels and see what and see what hardware that they were using, what type of topics they were they were what type of topics they were talking about. And all of it. And I found out that you actually didn't need fancy things. Like I don't there here when I'm doing these videos, there there's there's no fancy cameras, there's no fancy anything. I'm actually using a four yeah, a four-year-old cell phone or a smartphone to shoot these videos. Um, so yeah, short deadline, you can actually turn your idea into reality, similar to what, to what I'm doing now, because 
it's not me doing YouTube videos is no longer an idea. It's out there. You can see it. Everyone can see it. Um, this, so this is the first legit video that I am doing. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember that we're gonna, I'm going to be uploading one to three videos per week. So subscribe for notifications and I will see you on the next one.